Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're here with another review. Today we're gonna have a look at the Air Dragon figure from the Papo Medieval and Fantasy World line. It's a new figure, it released in 2023 and as you can see right here on the catalog, it is this one right here. His product code is 36038. I will collect all the new figures of this line as well. So, Let's waste no time and have a closer look to this one. As you can see, it's very big and really nice. I really like the coloration. This dragon reminds me something, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. Maybe it resembles the Harry Potter version of dragon. I'm not so sure. Or it's a Dungeons and Dragon movie dragon. I'm not so sure, but I think when I see him, it reminds me something. I don't know exactly right now what it is. It has articulated wings and you can give them different poses or like this if you will. It's up to you. I think the previous pose that I had for me is the best. I really like it. Like this is more mean but I don't like this light uh, white coloration to be seen. I think the, aside, or the outside part is very nicely done and I would like to be seenable like this. So first let's remove the Papo label from his feet. I don't want to have them attached to my figures. Alright, so here we are. So, first, let's start, I would say, with the head. As you can see, it's very nicely sculpted, very nicely done. I like all of these colorations that they have added on the face. The sculpt has been fantastic. Amazing job by Papo. And you can open the mouth like this. And it's very nicely painted inside, as you can see. It has this nice pinkish coloration, you can see the tongue right here. The teeth have been painted perfectly. I like this black thing like a beak that he has on his, for, for in his mouth and on the, on the top end on the side part of course. I think it's really appealing, making him more unique as a dragon. But this is something new for the Papo because as you can see the figure is articulated, something we are not used to see from Papo. I, and to be honest, I would prefer the Papo Dragons that they were not moving, they were like a Safari LTD or Plus Toy. This one moves and it moves a lot, not only the wings, you can actually, except of the mouth, which is, I think is something really cool, a cool feature, you can rotate this part of his neck right here a little bit, which I'm not so sure why they added this small articulation, you can only turn the head left or right a little bit so this is the only thing that it adds and with this thing right here you can rotate the neck also so making look different to different directions for me this is not something that would was really necessary and here we have the body that has this small articulation which I think it's articulation like no articulation you don't need this articulation here because it doesn't add anything it's only if you you know it's like no articulation you only make this small move for me I would prefer if this was one piece and of course we have the tail which is very long very big and you see see the tail is, is also it comes in different pieces it reminds me the NECA Godzilla on this one that we have reviewed on the channel you can see the tail is one small part, second, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight small different parts. But the movement on the tail overall is not way too much. And you, I would recommend you to take care not to push them too much because you don't want to break any of these things right here inside. Down like this and up like that. But down you cannot easily have it because it's on the floor, you know. Unless if you have it hanging from a tower or something but for me this is actually a, a not necessary thing I think I would prefer if the body was all one piece maybe you can have only the mouth and the wings articulation or even the feet if they will yeah the feet is actually really nice that they are moving so here you can see the Papo logo it says Papo 2022 made in PRC really nice so I like the black coloration that they use on the nails and on the on this 
nails on the wings as well mostly like spikes uh, looking really nice so as this is all as far as articulation now let's move to the sculpt of the figure and let's start with the head you can see the eye has been done perfectly both of the eyes actually look really nice really menacing i love the coloration you can see the black is not only just black it has like a, a yellowish thing or some sport or some gray some gray spots on the top some lighter brown black coloration and some gray right here on the top some brownish spikes on his head really nice and look at all of these details right here on his neck area fantastic job by Papo very nice dragon I think it's from the best models that they have and the chest area, some nice musculature right here some extra spikes underneath very nice lizard dragonish body I would say all the feet has been done perfectly you can see very nice dragonish looking scene and, that behind, and the top part of the dragon is covered with these horns and spikes looking really nice I like this end that they use on the tail very beautiful looking amazing job and on this one yeah all of this is fantastic my only issue is that it has too many articulations which is unnecessary i think the tail and the main body should be one piece because the movement that they add is actually like no movement at all as you can see you only make this small thing so yeah i think it should be one piece but overall as a figure is really nice coloration fantastic i will give a 10 out of 10 at the color 10 out of 10 of the sculpt wonderful figure amazing dragon really outstanding and unique the wings are rotated you can rotate it like uh, 360 both of them so that's something really cool and i also like the coloration of the wings look at this nice beautiful sculpt right here on the wings area all these small details that they have all over them i like the shading you know these parts you see it in the middle it has this it has this reddish coloration i would say and as it goes in the end it has this brownish and it ends up with this black coloration fantastic amazing figure and you can see on his back how many different spikes and horns it has all over it and his body is very nicely done as well i like this light brownish coloration on the feet also it has been done a decent job on this figure, I think it's worth the money that you pay. So this was guys, the Papo Air Dragon figure. Thank you for watching the video, hope you enjoyed it, I helped you out. I'm gonna see you next time. Bye.